Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another glue book video. So today, well, I don't know. Um, well, I might want that. Anyway, <coughs> cough as per usual. Fred says, hello. Um, welcome. Glad you're here. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Uh, yeah, so today is not going to be glue booking or harvesting, actually. What I have here is, look at all this, this huge stack, okay, of things that I have harvested over the last few harvest videos with you. So today I just thought, you know what, I really need to, um, go through this, you know, and cut them out. And I thought, what better way to do that than to just bring y'all along? Because I like company, you know? I like company when I do stuff like this. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Bring you guys along. Oh, and if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time a video comes out. Now, this right here, the only reason I'm taking it out, perhaps, is for the Statue of Liberty here. So. You know what, I have completely lost, well, not just my mind, folks, um, all of my scissors. Like, I have literally, okay, found them. This is one pair of many, I don't know. So yeah, I am gonna go through these. I'm not gonna, you know, totally fussy cut everything out, you know, cause I don't know, might be boring, but mostly I'm just gonna ramble to you guys, yeah. Sometimes uh, I fussy cut things or I go through my images while, you know, my husband and I are watching TV or something like that, but here's the deal. A lot of the times, I don't know if you guys knew this about me or not, I'm just gonna make piles for no particular reason. Uh, but a lot of times, I like this clock, um, I, if I'm watching TV or something, let me walk and chew gum. I like this clock. I don't know if I said that or not. A lot of times, um, I have a hard time hearing. I really probably need hearing aids, but let me tell you, I don't know why my hearing is terrible. I have, it's gotten worse over the years. Um, I have to have subtitles on all the time. I have terrible tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. Nobody can tell me why. Nobody can fix it. Um, it's really annoying. And so, I know a lot of people fussy cut and all that kind of stuff when they are watching TV or whatever, but if I'm watching TV, I have to actually pay attention because I have to read what they're saying most of the time because I can't hear. So, yeah, it's really annoying. And I've taken, like, my poor daughter, she's like, Mom, really, you got to get hearing aids. And, um, however, you know, I'm going to leave this clock. I'm, I don't want that. Um, but I am going to take this bed. Um, and anyway... I, I really, I guess I just need to like go to my doctor or you know, you guys, it, well, if you've been on my channel at all for any length of time, you know that I abhor going to my doctor. Really like my doctor. He's a great doctor. He's the only doctor that I know of that actually treats the um, syndrome that I have. At any rate, I hate going to his office for anything else other than my physicals and my meds, you know, like when I need my meds. Um, so yeah, I only, I generally go twice a year. Uh, so yeah, the thought of actually going and, you know, being like, look, can you, you know, tell, check my ears or whatever, you know. I have had them like checked before years ago and they said nothing was wrong with them. Um, I wasn't having the hearing issues that I have today. So, you know, that's a little different. But, um, but, let me see, I'm just thinking here. I think I wanted this rooster here, that's so cute. Um, 
but I have taken, because even my husband's like, babe, you, something needs to be done, okay? Because, like, you literally cannot hear a thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and we used to joke about it and, you know, make fun of me and all of that. And that's fine. I don't care. But it's really gotten to, like, a critical point here because, like, yeah, I, I really have a very hard time hearing. <sighs> so, anyway... I had, and I also have taken like online hearing tests, you know, or whatever, because my husband had found, I don't know, he was watching some infomercial thing. He was like, oh babe, you know, these might help you. Maybe we should order them. So I went on their website and I took their hearing, you know, test thing or whatever. According to them, my hearing's fine. Okay. I don't get it. I don't understand it because I literally... It is so hard for me to hear. Like my poor daughter at school, she has to like yell at me. And it's also especially hard for me because like to hear, you know, because I do personally rely on lip reading. And it's just uh, something that I started doing a few years ago out of necessity because my hearing's gotten worse and worse and worse. And um, and so like, you know, I just honestly, it was just, um, what's it called? Like a compensation deal, you know, like with my brain. So, um, I mean, it is kind of fun to be able to like, as long as I can see somebody's lips, you know, like to watch a video or something or something like that without the sound on because, <laughs> Because I just read their lips and I, you know. Or, I mean, I guess I could always put on the subtitles, which I do do. You know what's interesting, though, okay, talking about hearing, um, is that, like, at night when I have my guilty pleasure, which is uh, watching YouTube videos tucked up in bed. One moment. Oh, I thought somebody was coming in here. Um, I do not use subtitles isn't that weird because the ear because i use earbuds so the the noise or whatever you want to call it he's a cute little rooster um you know the sound is going you know like i just want to make sure that nothing is too glary there's my pile for that um yeah like you know the sound is going directly into my ear so oh you know what i could oh man too bad. I was going to use this clean and fresh here because my husband had done the laundry. Or should I, you know what, I'm just going to do that because um, he's so great. He did all the laundry, all the beds, linens, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm going to cut that out because I've got a bazillion and one clocks, right? So I don't need those. Um, one moment. Yes? Okay. I, st I keep thinking someone's coming in my room. Anyway, um, I don't even know what I was saying. I was talking about hearing. So that's going to go over here because I want to put that. Actually, let's see. Let's just do it right now while we're thinking about it. Okay, here's my journal. Oh, and if you're new here, of course, welcome. But um, I, this is going to go right here on this, on a Friday because I actually had to substitute teach and then this is going to go here. So see, we're just going to organize as we go along. If you're new to the channel, my uh, the basis for my channel really is journaling. And I use, um, it. I call it a, a creative daily journal. It's basically like a mis mishmash of, you know, scrapbooking, um, art journaling, collage work, um, glue booking, written journaling, uh, smash booking if I didn't say that like you name it it goes in this book and I do it on a daily basis okay now lately you know if you've been watching my channel I do I've been doing a lot of like glue booking and stuff like that oh look at that pretty bed yeah okay I think I wanted this puppy though and I'm not going to completely bore you with fussy cutting him out well, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, I think that's all I wanted on this page. 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm, I've lost my mojo, seriously, folks. And I say it almost every video, you guys are gonna probably get so bored of it. But if you're new here, you know, I mean, I don't know. You might not know that I work now with my daughter. And so when I get home from work, I'm, a, I'm her teacher assistant, as well as her co-teacher's assistant. And um, <clears throat> when I first started working, I was like, you know, I can work two long days at work but then, you know, I need to have three short days at work so that I can come home and, you know, still keep up with my YouTube and my videos and all that kind of stuff and my journaling, right? And so I've done okay, just okay, with keeping up with, you know, these videos for y'all because I love filming videos. Um, but I have not been doing well at all with my journaling just when I get home I am beat I am beat tired and yeah look at that cute little pup um thank you for your patience uh yeah so I'm just yeah I've just lost my mojo so um when I get home, let's see what happens with this with this here. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is inspirational signs, just because I can use those words in glue booking, either with um, let's see here, I'm trying to cut like semi straight. So, okay, um, yeah. When I get home, I'm so, I'm just so tired, I, guys. Like you have no idea I mean I guess if you work or whatever you do have an idea and let me tell you what kudos to those of you that work a full-time job <laughs> and still find time to run an Etsy shop and you know do your journaling and all that kind of stuff you know yeah so these are gonna be words um, and then I thought about cutting these signs out but I they're gonna be askew I think let's try it and see I don't know I think that one is this one might not be this one here sorry it says family is not an important thing it is everything or it's everything so I like that so we're gonna cut this little sign out and see uh, I don't know. Ouch. I almost cut my finger. Yeah, that's okay. That's well, if you can see it on the white, see it's not like angled weird or anything. But I think this one will be and that one will be. So, okay, done with that. Okay, I love this right here. Yeah. So, um, it's the weekend now. And normally this would be the time that I would be working on my journals and stuff but um, yeah like I said I just I have like literally no mojo I I just don't feel like it at all working on my stuff my journal and you know yeah I just don't and so I'm not going to you know uh, there was something I think I was watching uh, who was it my sweet friend Allison from AJ's inspired life yes I was watching her this morning and look how pretty that is huh that's really pretty um, I was watching her this morning and there was a quote she was going through the mantra wellness magazine so if you haven't seen a flip through of that magazine it's a fabulous magazine isn't that a pretty fall picture now if I was doing a fall a journal I would definitely take it but I'm not but this might come out fine this little sign here anyway there was some quote about like not forcing it you know and that's exactly me lately you know like I love working in my journal I absolutely love it it's what I base my YouTube channel off of but in all seriousness I do not force myself to create I just don't do it it you know because then it becomes like a chore 
or it becomes not fun, you know? Let's see how that sign. Whoops, get out of the way there. Yeah, that's pretty flat. If I hope it's not glary. It is to me, but whatever. Okay, here's some more fall stuff. Okay, now these things, I think I was gonna cut out um, these little owls because they're so darn cute, but I'm not gonna make you suffer through that. And possibly these pumpkins. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on this one here, it is a nice bed. However, I think I can cut that out. And if I, if it is slightly askew, which it appears to be, no big deal. I will make it not askew. Okay. Oops. Let's see what's on the other page here. Oh, another beautiful bed. Yeah. The only reason I cut out the one bed is because I did have a bed day the other week. Um, or yeah, this past week or whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I don't know when you're seeing this video. But uh, yeah, I had my first sick day from work because I had a migraine and yeah, I could not deal. Okay, that's super pretty. Love that. All right, yeah, so it's the weekend now, and I thought, let's just cut some of these things out. Okay, these are super cute. I like this little fox. I don't know about this. Too bad this owl is cut off there. Um, the pumpkin spice is not, is like askew, so I'm not going to do that, but I will cut this little fox out. Those pumpkins are cute, but not going to chop those out I don't think I do like that box though and I'll put him in my box now I have like a new box here for here's are these sweet little um, a happy mail thing that I got or some of these are from happy mail anyway a lot of it is but it's stuff that I use within my journal right so I actually could put this statue of Liberty in there there we go okay um, yeah, so this weekend, my husband, I mean, he's not feeling all that great. Sorry for the sniffle. Um, yeah, he was up super early. I was up at 6 this morning. Of course, I fell asleep before 8.45 last night. That is how dog tired I am. Like, I just cannot even explain it. It just wears me out. And on Friday... Again, I don't know when you're seeing this, but I actually, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I actually had to substitute for uh, one of the teachers that I assist for, not my daughter, but the other teacher. And so I had to teach the class the whole day. And, um, you know, of course I was nervous and, you know, all of that. And I think it went pretty, you know, pretty well. Um, but it was just nerve wracking, you know what I mean? Because that is just not what I signed up for, you know? I signed up to assist. Uh, I have no, I, I used to be a teacher, so. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I literally have no desire to ever teach again. Uh, there we go, isn't that cute? Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, so it's just not something I signed up for, so. You know, anyway, uh, so it was just kind of mentally taxing. <laughs> yeah, so I was just mentally as well as physically exhausted, okay, yesterday when I got home from work. It, I was just tired, you know. So I went to bed early, plus... I am going to fussy cut these because these are so cute and then I'm going to stick them in my, no I'm not, I will, after I get off with you guys, I will end up sticking them in my November uh, book. Sorry if this is glary, really sorry, but yeah, I, I need to get through this pile and I'm tired of looking at it, so... Oh, wait, let me finish my thought. Yeah, yesterday it was super rainy, stormy, lightning, thundering, terrific storm. I love those days so much. 
So it was just like a comfy, cozy evening, and then I was just super tired, you know. So I was literally, I fell asleep before, like I said, 8.45. So, yeah. Um, and then what else was I saying? Well, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, this, after I get off with you guys, I will put this in my... November book to save to just glue in because they're cute little scarecrows for the fall season. Yesterday was actually the first day it kind of felt like fall, like it was in the 70s, in the mid 70s. It felt so nice. My husband and I both were like, ooh, kind of cool out. We got our robes on and everything. It was really kind of funny because, you know, I mean, we live in South Florida, so what is like quote unquote cold or cool for us certainly is not for other people you know I think it's snowing in the Midwest now I don't know crazy aren't they cute they are cute okay we'll put that there well actually I'm gonna put this over to the side as well as this little fox here because I'm gonna put this in my in my uh, journal for whatever for Okay, all right, a lot of these are like fall stuff. Okay, I'm gonna save those. This one too for fall. I don't know if I'm gonna cut this out or not. Nah, probably not. But I will save this one. Welcome to the nut house. Yes, please. <laughs> I just think that's funny. Okay, so now these will be for my glue book. So we're just going to, I don't, you know, there's nothing on the back that I want. Yeah, so I just thought that I would come in here and, you know, I bring you guys along for so many different things. So why not bring you along and chat you up while I'm cutting images out? Because uh, I came in here this morning and, again, was not in the mood. See, isn't that a pretty little image? I hope you can see that without too much glare. Pretty, pretty. Um, yeah, I came in here. It took me like an hour whoops that missed missed the garbage can whoopsie um yeah it took me like an hour to clean my room can you believe that that's just a shame um i really like this picture here so i'm going to attempt to cut it yes okay and i cut that sign off sort of no all right I think that's a skew though. The sign is. So yeah, this this one here, who gather here, blessed by those who gather here. I like it, but too fussy for me. But I do like this picture for a glue book or even to put in my, it's pretty with the birds and everything. So I like that. I was, I, when I did the harvest for this, if you guys saw that, I was going to cut some of these out. I can't be fussed with it right now. Like seriously. Okay. Here are some more little owls. Those are adorable. I will wait and cut those out. Here are some more fallish items. Yeah. Okay. These are hilarious. All right. So, and these are easy for me to cut out. I think, or let's hope. Okay. I'm going to cut part of her head off, which is fine. No biggie. These are like things that I found, memes that I found on uh, probably Pinterest. And I think they're flipping hilarious. Okay, cleaning. Wait, see? Cleaning. One thing that just makes everything else look dirtier. Yeah. I just think they're funny. So I cut these out a lot to use in my journal. I just think they're funny. Or, so I'm putting them in this basket here. Or... I send them to people or whatever. Sure, I set a bad example. Fortunately, my kids pay no attention to me. <laughs> One of the things I always used to tell my kids when they were, you know, when they were like going out on their own or whatever, you know, they were like late teens, early 20s. I was like, you know, that saying like, um, Make sure, what is it? Like, make sure you don't do what I wouldn't do or something like that. I would always be like, don't do what I would do. 
<laughs> like whatever you do, just don't do what I would do. Or don't do anything I wouldn't do. I think that that's the saying, like don't do anything I wouldn't do. But I would always be like, don't do anything that I would do, you know, because yikes. Yeah, that, that could end badly. <laughs> At first they were like, mom, that's not the way it goes. And I'm like, think about it, okay? Just think about it for a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, my poor kids. My poor kids. Speaking of my poor kids, um, I don't know, I think my daughter's up now finally. And my sunshine, I did see my sunshine for dinner this week, so that was very nice. That was very nice indeed. We see him about once a week. He's uh, working an outage right now. <laughs> I love this one. Oh my gosh. I should put this on my page for today. If you can see it, she's blindfolded, you know. She has her bed mask on or sleep mask or whatever. And it says dust. What dust? Yeah, that's the state of my living room currently. Although I have to say, well, let me finish my thought. Yeah, seeing my son was lovely. We see, we generally see him once a week for dinner. He comes for dinner and haircuts. Um, anyway. Oh, I was talking about dust. Yeah, I really need to dust. My sweet husband, like yesterday, he was so busy. And that's probably why he's not feeling well today. But he was so busy. He, he like, he vacuumed the house and he spot mopped and... It was very nice. Went to the grocery store, brought home some flowers. He's just so sweet that way. And yeah, did a loads of laundry, cleaned all the bedding. Oh my goodness, he was busy. He was a busy little bee yesterday. He's like a better housewife than I am. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I've told him before how he would make such a great wife. Yep. His mama taught him well. Hmm. I know I walked in this room for a reason. My life story. Okay, those are funny. Now, these here I have not cut out, and I'm not going to cut them out right this minute um, because that's a whole lot of cutting out. But these here, unfortunately, some, for some reason, they printed on both sides. I really don't know why. But if you go to Glue Book Banter, it's a Facebook group that is run by Colleen Riley, and I she has a fa uh, she has a Facebook group called Glue Book Banter, and she also has a YouTube channel. So I'll list them both. Um, she does put up these freebies. So if you're glue booking or whatever, you're doing a blue page, um, yeah. And here are some more. So super duper cute, right? And I printed this out twice, too, because for some reason it printed on both sides. Like, I love this Matryoshka doll. So cute. So cute. Okay. So, yeah, if she gives these as freebies. Love this girl, too. Okay, so anyhow, should I cut out this gems or not? I don't know. I do have a lot of things that have to do with gems. Okay. Okay. Don't need these sneakers um, because I have loads and loads of sneakers. Thank you so much. This came in happy mail. So hopefully it's not too glary. But I'm just going to cut the top off just to make it more square. And I might just use this for a page because it has to do with school. And so I might cover this up with something. Cover this up with something. And yeah. I don't know. I like that though. So thank you to whomever sent it to me. I appreciate it. So this goes in my journal. You know what? Let's do it right now. Okay. Um, where is... I'm looking... Okay. See? Chronic migraine. I have that because in there because I did have a migraine. Um... Okay, these and all these go for, th these were sent to me in Happy Mail as well. So super duper sweet. I'm never getting married. Oh my gosh. That's funny. These are so cute. Yeah, so all of these gets, get put away. That's an interesting picture there. So I can either fussy cut it or, or not. I don't know if I really, you know, like I've kept out all these beds, but honestly, 
Uh, I don't think I'm gonna cut them out now. Uh, oh, you know what I do have right now? Is this file folder. So, let's just put all of these into here, okay? And so we have, let me get in there straight. Okay, so we have a file folder now of uh, beds, all right? So we're gonna put that there and put it to the side just in case I have any more beds, okay? I have this here, post-it notes everywhere. Let me tell you what, in school, we use post-it notes for like, for everything, okay? And then some of the kids, oh, that was interesting there, this big stack of stuff. Some of the kids like try to paper their little cubicle with um, post-its, not a fan of that. It's like, don't waste the post-its, you know, anyway. Okay, that's a pretty landscape picture, nice. Okay, I don't know why, see the world? No, have no desire for that. So I have no idea why Toronto, um, yeah, I have no idea why I collected that, don't know. Sun's out, fun's out, that just reminds me of summer. Ooh, that's why, okay. I might send this to a friend. Okay, so put that over there. Let's see what is here. Um, another seaside thing, cool. Maybe I saved that for a friend, I don't know. This I got in Happy Mail, I like this. I think this is gonna go in my November book, so I'll put this right here with the other November stuffs. Okay, walking, try a new walking plan. Okay, I don't think I need that. I do like this picture. Yeah, I'll keep it. Boy, oh boy. I don't know what magazine this is from, but it's super duper thin. So, yeah, not, not really a fan of that, but, you know, it would still work because I am longing for the day that I am able to do my walking again. Yep. Okay, that goes in my my shoe bucket. So there's that. Okay. I don't know why I clipped the... Okay, more walking. Get more from your walk. All right. On the move. I'm not... Hmm, let me see. On the move. Oh, look at all those sneakers. Wow. Okay, this I'm going to put aside because I will cut those out. Let me see what this one was for. Uh, sometimes I like these to fussy cut these ladies out. Oh, sneakers, no, you know what? I bet I got these in um, Happy Mail. Yep, okay, so that's gonna go with the sneakers. Here is more for sneakers. Oh, look at all those fun sneakers. Yeah, I'll cut all those out. I have quite a lot of sneakers, but that's okay. More sneakers, yes, okay. Loads and loads and loads, oh my goodness. I should, how to train for a triathlon, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Um, but I do wanna cut this out right here because, and I'm not gonna do, well, I could do loads and loads. Let me see, inspirational signs. No, didn't I cut something out? Oh yeah, I already put it in my book, I think, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut this out anyway because it says loads and loads and my husband did loads and loads of laundry yesterday. So, okay. So we're gonna go like this and we're going to go like this. Okay. And then I can put loads and loads, right? And then it says laundry. So yeah, because my husband did all of the laundry. So sweet of him, so sweet of him. So we'll put that, and he did it yesterday. So I am going to go ahead and toss this stuff and put this in the book for yesterday. Let's just find it. Okay, here it is. See, clean and fresh, okay? So I can put all of these things on this page for yesterday because my husband was so sweet and did a bunch of chores for me. Very nice, very nice. 
more sandals here. Those are cool. Oh, sneakers, yes. Okay, so that goes over there. And then here are a bunch of beds that I was sent. These are, oh, Converse, more sneakers. Okay, I need another, um, oh, I love that sneaker. Okay, I'm gonna definitely cut that out right now, but yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so this is going to be, these were sent to me in Happy Mail, so so sweet. So I'm going to put all of these sneakers and all of um, the beds together in one place. So I will know where they are. Oh gosh, isn't that a mess, huh? Okay, let's try to straighten that out a bit. All right. Okay, but I love this shoe and I'm probably gonna just end up putting this in my, in my journal. Well, I mean, I put most of the sneakers in my journal. That's where I put them. But, or this might look really cute on a glue book page, I have to say. <gasps> Black and white. Ugh, yes. Black and white. And I love Converse. You guys have probably heard the story. Like, I never have owned a pair of Converse in my life. And then, I think it was last year, my son bought me a pair of gray Converse. And I love them. Yep, they are super cute. I mean, I only wear them, well... Now I wear them a lot more frequently because I have to wear like, not closed toed shoes, but like we're allowed to wear sandals at work, but they have to have a back strap on them. And um, no, that doesn't work for me. So I do wear my Converse to work, love that. Okay, that's a fussy cut, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna keep those though. My best foot forward, I do like that. Best foot forward, that would be, that's cute for words. Ugh, I always do this wrong. Why do I do that? Ugh, there is a way to cut your words so that you're not having to trim them like this. Apparently, I just always forget. I just always forget how to do it properly. <laughs> Cause there is a proper way to do it, wouldn't you know? My goodness, 37 minutes. Okay, so we cut a bunch of stuffs out, right? Let's just go, okay, so this here is like, um, okay, these I got in Happy Mail as well, and I love, this is a foreign language. These would make great backgrounds in a glue book. This would make these orange, just beautiful, yep. So then the rest of it, I kind of, oh, this is like part, of a book, I guess, that I did not use. No, maybe not, I don't know. I can't remember if this was sent or not, but I guess I have to go through this, right? Um, and these here, yeah, we'll see. And this here, and then some food, go through these for like the words and stuff. Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know, that might, yep, that's going somewhere else, okay. I don't know why I have this. I really don't, that's very odd. Um, I don't know, hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm, okay. Maybe I was gonna cut some of these out. You know, it's interesting because I, I take them out for a reason, obviously, when I take them out, but then I go back through them and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not, I'm not sure why I clipped those, you know? Like, I don't know if I liked it just because it was watercolory or the words or what. So that's part of the problem when you cut out a bunch of stuff and then you forget why you cut it out. Or this could very well be the leftovers of, this is from a Real Simple magazine, so this could be the leftovers of stuff that I did not, you know, want, maybe. 
these are cute, but I don't know if I really want to take the time to fussy cut them. Anyway. Oh, she's pretty, though. Hmm? She's pretty. I could cut her out for a girl book. Okay, so, oh, that's pretty, too. Your spice rack. Huh. That's cute. I should put that on one of my, my one of my journaling pages because my husband is the cooker in the house. Yeah. He does a lot of stuff, you know. Anyway, I'm very blessed to have him. So, I think I'll leave you guys there. Thank you for joining me in we got some really cute little images and we've whittled down the pile a little bit. We put some stuff away, which is fantastic. So I hope you guys can see what we did. So yeah, thanks so much. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really enjoy your company and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to click that subscribe button, keeping in mind that normally my journals are about my, my what? What did I say? No, normally my videos are about my journals and my journaling. And when I get that mojo back, there's going to be more of them. Trust me. Okay, so again, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.